Altogether, there are nine nations in the East Africa region. They are Eritrea, Djibouti, Ethiopia, Somalia, Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, and Tanzania. Of these nations, Ethiopia is Africa's second most populous nation, after Nigeria. The largest cities in East Africa are Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, and Nairobi, Kenya. Each of these busy, big cities is home to between three and four million people. But the majority of the inhabitants of this region tend to live in small towns and villages. Most East Africans are farmers. Bananas are a big crop here, and so are coffee, tea, and rice. It's important to note that East Africa has had some very serious problems. For example, in Rwanda in 1994, between 500,000 to 1 million people, 20% of the nation's population, were brutally exterminated in a tribal genocide. And the nation of Somalia lacked a functioning government for 20 years up until 2012 due to civil war and religious extremism. In addition, severe drought and famine have also plagued large areas of East Africa in recent years. Probably the most important geographical feature of East Africa is called the East African Rift. It consists of two main branches, the Eastern Rift Valley and the Western Rift Valley. The Rift Valleys were created, and actually are still being created, because in this part of East Africa, the African Plate, which includes all of the African continent, plus a lot of the surrounding ocean areas, is dividing into two new tectonic plates, the Nubian Plate and the Somalian Plate. Here we see vehicles on a road that winds down along a cliff or escarpment in Tanzania that is on the edge of the Eastern Rift Valley, exactly where the African plate is splitting apart. Off in the distance is Lake Maniara, which is just one of many large lakes found in the rift valleys of East Africa. The biggest rift valley lakes are Lake Victoria, Lake Malawi, and Lake Tanganyika. Lake Tanganyika is the second largest freshwater lake in the world, based on the volume of water it holds. Besides the lakes and valleys created by the East African Rift, many volcanic mountains are closely associated with it too. Mount Kilimanjaro rises up near the border of Tanzania and Kenya. Mount Kilimanjaro is the tallest freestanding mountain in the world. Mount Kilimanjaro's huge ice fields are rapidly disappearing and are expected to vanish entirely in the next 25 years, an event that will undoubtedly have a disastrous effect on the supply of fresh water to the lands that surround it. The East African Rift is home to the 2,000-foot-deep Ngoro Ngoro Crater. It covers about 100 square miles, which makes it the largest intact, inactive volcanic caldera in the world. The crater's floor is mostly open grasslands, along with a shallow lake and a few small woodlands. Today, it is one of the most important conservation areas in Tanzania, a magical place where tens of thousands of wild animals of many different species roam freely about. Zebras live here, as well as elephants, ostriches, lions, African buffalo, wildebeests, rhinos, and lots and lots of other amazing creatures, like jackals, hyenas, and warthogs. A few hours drive from Ngoro Ngoro Crater along a bumpy dirt road takes you to Olduvai Gorge, 
one of the most important archaeological sites in the world. It's the place where traces of the first human beings and their even more ancient pre-human ancestors were discovered. Excavations in these small rocky canyons have turned up stone tools and fossil remains that are as much as 1,900,000 years old. The Maasai are one of East Africa's most distinctive traditional tribal cultures and are quite well known for their brightly colored clothing and jewelry and for their unique songs and dances, too. The Maasai people, who number about 800,000, follow a pastoralist way of life, meaning that their main occupation is tending to herds of animals. Cattle are the favorites of the tribe, but they raise sheep, goats, and camels, too. So naturally, the wealth of a particular Maasai community is measured by how many animals it owns. Their small villages are scattered over large areas of the countryside in Kenya and Tanzania. Maasai dwellings resemble tiny apartments and frequently are built one next to the other in a circular pattern to form the outer wall of a village. Maasai men have more than one wife so each small apartment is for a wife and her children. The women of the tribe build their families' homes from the materials at hand, mainly mud, sticks, and cattle dung. The men spend a lot of their time looking after the animals, often roaming for many miles, searching for grass and other greenery for them to eat. At night, the animals are brought into the village where they can be protected from dangerous creatures like leopards and lions. The Maasai grow no crops. Instead, they survive mostly on the milk and blood of the animals they raise. And even though they stick to their traditional ways, many Maasai children learn to read, write, and do math and social studies in small village schools like this one. The Mara Serengeti ecosystem is a very unique part of the Maasai people's traditional homeland. Located just to the east of Lake Victoria, this huge animal reserve covers some 9,700 square miles in both Tanzania and Kenya. Most of the Mara Serengeti ecosystem is a vast open grassland that is often dotted with clumps of thorny acacia trees whose leaves are the favorite food of the many giraffes that live here. This part of East Africa is famous for being home to one of the largest populations of wild animals on Earth. Wildebeests like these number in the millions here. Around July of each year, wildebeests, along with many other species of large animals, migrate north from the Serengeti plains of Tanzania to search for fresh pasture. And then they return to the south again in October. Huge herds of zebra join the wildebeests in the annual migration and are always seen roaming freely throughout the reserve. Lots of elephants live here as well. And you'll also find large numbers of several different kinds of African antelope, such as hartebeests and impalas. This ecosystem is home to good-sized populations of lions. There are also plenty of leopards here. And the world's fastest animals, cheetahs, although not so numerous, live here too. The Mara Serengeti ecosystem is a great place for birds as well. In fact, more than 470 species have been identified here. Some of the more colorful of them are masked weavers, superb starlings, crested cranes, and marabou storks. And the brightly colored lizards that live here can be pretty eye-catching too.